Hello, this is John from MyBrenonGames.com, and yep, it's still Tuesday, August 16th, 2016, and I'm going to continue playing Ease the Vanished Omens for the Sega Master System. This is the 10th episode, and the 9th episode just recorded, oh, about, finished recording about 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago. I scaled about 10 floors of the Tower of the Doomed. I lost all of my silver equipment and then regained my silver sword and silver shield. I defeated a praying mantis-like boss and obtained the fourth book of ease and a hammer. Not sure what to do with that yet. And I've also encountered a handful of helpful allies in the Tower of the Doomed, namely Dogi, the thief who is thought, who is presumed dead, thought to be lost somewhere in here. He's, turns out he's still alive and kicking, helping me out. As well as a couple of other helpful dudes. Helpful dudes and maybe some dudettes. Let's see. I think I've already gone up this way. And this just leads to Luther Jebba, Luther Gemma, who it seems will not help me until I rescue a lady who is captured in here. In the Tower of the Doomed. I think that's correct. But, just to double check. Continue on in here. Looking more and more like that's the case. Yep. Aaron, it's me, Luther Gemma, the old man Rauba. Rauba told me that a girl was taken to the Tower of the Doomed. If thou dost not hurry, she shall be killed. Save her quickly. I mean, we're in the Tower of the Doomed, right? Instead of walking all that way back there, I'm just going to load this save. Oh, that's thinking. Okay, this way is dead end. Perceived dead end. Maybe I need to use my mask of eyes there or something else. It's probably just dead end. Oh. Ah. Back to that place. Wonder if I can. reach where I need to go before my health completely depletes, but I think even getting in the next room my health still depletes. that. I'm sure it doesn't make a lick of difference. We're going to go straight for the destination. Actually, no we're not. I'm going I'm to walk right past it see if there's anything else here. I cannot get there far enough. Okay, so let's scratch that. Let's see if I can get to that door quickly enough. And then I think we already know, whenever I get to that door, that leads to another room with a person, but health still depletes. Huh. Healing ring equipped. Ooh. 
Ring mail equipped. And we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Ah, sweet. So now I could regenerate my health. The evil creatures are trapped inside here. The evil song that can be heard coming from that corridor there is caused by the wind blowing from outside. One of the pillars along this passage seems to be a chimney of some sort. It might offer a way out. Okay. So I guess a song explains why I take damage? Evil creatures trapped inside here. Evil song can be heard coming from that corridor there is outside when the pillars along this passage seems to be a chimney of some sort it might offer a way out huh so is this a case no oh, I, I think that's great let's go ahead and save we'll use utilize that second save file so is there something in this room that allows me to escape I have enough health to get to the next area doesn't seem like it. Maybe I gotta go back. Go back to the west. He said in this room, but I'm not seeing anything here. So maybe it's the outside wall leading to this room. Or, you know, leading to this other room. that guy. Show enough. Cannot survive against that guy. damages enemies. I need to use it for something else. I don't. That's not the Mask of Eyes. That's the Mask of Eyes. It's like, that's weird. Nothing changed. Oh. Duh. Okay, so I ought to save here now that I've spoke to that guy. Before I do that, let's regenerate health. Hmm. He's talking about one of the columns is actually a chimney. I'm gonna have to figure out what exactly he means, and then likely return back there at some point. Oh, there we go. Let's equip that. Let's go ahead and save. This will be the primary save again. And before going up, let's check the uh, outside corridor that led up to this floor. Ah! Jeez. One false move and I lost all that health. 
At least I recover it out here. It has a different color. Is it just because of the position of it? Yeah, it's just because of the position of it. Maybe I need the hammer for this. Maybe I need to hammer something out. I guess the, maybe the Mask of Eyes, though. Ah, not the blue necklace. Not read a book. Oh, well, that should lead back down. The next one should lead up back from the room I ooh, came from. It's got me scratching my head. Also that itch, that itch had me scratching my head. Just keep it equipped on this next quarter. See if there's anything here. So that one would lead up. nothing. And that also means this next one should lead up. path lead me anywhere? Is this just going right back around? Yeah, it's going right back around. I don't need that. Seems like I've scaled many floors in this place. I don't think I've scaled 21, but man, I'm getting up there. I'm gonna save here. Make this secondary save. I think this is basically where I ended episode 9. I feel like I've explored as much as I- no, this leads back to this guy, that's right. Huh. What? Oh, what am I going to use that hammer for?
We'll continue going left. His right. out whatever was giving me issues. Correction, whatever was starting to give me issues. And then this pathway, is that, yeah, kind of picking that up on the camera. Definitely going to pick that up on the mic. This way is going to lead back to the guy who told me about the quarters or whatever. Oh. I forgot it was through here. Made it though. Evil creatures are trapped inside here. Evil song that can be heard coming from that corridor there is caused by the wind blowing from outside. One of the pillars along this passage seems to be a chimney of sorts. It might offer a way out. One of the pillars along this passage. Pillars along this passage? What? Pillars? Gotta be. No, I'm not seeing anything with the with the mask of eyes. Maybe I gotta hammer this wall. This wall looks like it's not this wall, but this wall looks like it's That's not gonna be a, that's a non starter. I don't see anything with the mask of eyes. Looks like I can't make it uh, to even see what's beyond that way either. Hmm. Hmm. Evil creatures are trapped inside here. Evil song that can be heard coming from that corridor there is caused by the wind blowing from outside. One of the pillars along this passage seems to be a chimney of some sort. One of the pillars along this passage. Okay. So if I could figure out how to prevent my health from falling so low, I guess, do I have to use a potion? timer ring, whatever. Maybe if I use a potion where my health gets low, that'll extend my health long enough, or good enough to where I can reach the other side. Ah! I'll at least get farther. There we go. Oh, man. Is this good enough? Good enough. Yep, that's the end of the hallway. Okay. I'm gonna have to use a potion then. I can do that. It looks like I gotta do that. Not seeing another way out of this. So we'll go ahead and keep that power ring equipped. I don't think the rings really matter at this this section. Bam! Okay, that being done, let's get the blue necklace back on, let's equip the healing ring, and let's let us do its job. So I'm a little farther now, I'm actually in some uncharted territory. Ho ho ho. So, presumably... I'm going to find the girl beyond this point. Once I've rescued her, then I'll go back and speak to Luther Gemma, who may give me the fifth Book of Eves or give me something. Maybe he'll translate the books for me. Maybe the girl I rescue will. You know, I rescued that Athena, and she never really did anything, did she? Never even explained why she was captured in the first place. I don't want to read a book. 
back to the power ring. And let's go ahead and save. We'll make that the duplicate save, the backup save. Don't know what's beyond here. If I even really needed to do that. Use that potion to get through that corridor. Mm. This is going to be more like the rest of my videos, huh? Full of yawning. Okay. I'm seeing some mirrors. This means there's teleporting. I see two mirrors. Oh, no. Is that what the hammer's for? Do I got to break the mirror? Get seven years of bad luck? Hopefully I get something better than that. Nah. It's not even doing anything. Huh. Okay. Okay. Whatever. We'll go left. Ooh, person. Thank thee for my freedom. At the end of the crossway, three floors above here is the Tower of Rado. I saw a girl taken there earlier, who we're after, presumably. There is a strong curse over the tower. Only evil creatures can enter, they say. I can do nothing here. It is up to thee to save that girl. When I talk too long, my wounds from the evil creatures begin to hurt. But I had best tell all before they come back. If thou art delayed much longer, the girl will be killed before thou canst save her. You talk a lot. But that is what I need the evil ring for, then. I can only enter places if I'm an evil creature. I guess the evil ring would make me an evil creature. Okay, and then if you talk to... Whenever I talk to this guy again, he just goes on and on about the same thing. So... Three floors up is where I need to be to rescue the girl, but I'm going to need the evil ring to get there. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. I'm kind of appreciative of the fact that this is a little more linear than it at once seemed. Whenever I first started encountering multiple pathways gonna be I got to thinking this is gonna be a daunting task especially with 21 floors <laughs> it hasn't been too bad so far it hasn't been too difficult either honestly just been a matter of doing safe experimentation speaking of safe experimentation we're going to save and I guess you could that blue necklace. I don't know if I'd want the hammer or blue necklace for whatever's ahead yet. No, I want what I have equipped, weapon and shield wise. Okay, another transforming thing. Come on, we don't like transforming things. I already know that. Oh. Does good damage. Although I do equally good damage, it seems like. I was able to get him halfway before I fell. That was not really trying. What happens whenever I get the ring mail equipped? And I have the hammer equipped, I think, so... We'll see if not having the blue necklace benefits or detracts any in any way. Okay, I actually did... It seemed like I did worse at first, but I really bounced back and was able to do a lot of damage to him. And lastly, what about the timer ring? I could see how slowing this guy down, maybe slowing down his projectiles would come in handy. Looks like I want to stay away from that red core of his. That's going to do it. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Just a little bit of experimentation. Goes a long way. Good save spots. Just like playing Pokemon games, you always want to save right before you fight one of the Elite Four members, right before you're going up against a legendary Pokemon, anything like that. You want to save, so if you go, if things go awry, restart it, go right back. Boom.
Book of Ease, man, that is five of six. We are damn near, we damn near have a complete collection. Aaron finds a rod. Someone was telling us about this rod. Not a piece of equipment, though. It goes straight to my inventory. So what I do with it is beyond me. And the book I got was the Book of Gemma. So I'm guessing Luther Gemma could tell me what it's about. That would make sense. For now, we'll backtrack. I guess to Luther Gemma. Is there another stairwell leading up somewhere? I don't recall there being one. I still didn't successfully stop that song in the corridor, though. Find the pathway or whatever that guy was talking about. Also, how am I going to get through there now? I need a... Oh, yeah, I guess there was that way. Oh, no, I can't get there. Maybe the rod can be used on this mirror now. Maybe it's used automatically, this guy. He says the same thing. Yeah, I can use that now. Okay, I see a treasure chest. I see a treasure chest. Go and save. I guess it the one I use? I don't know. Not dealing with your crap. Oh man, no treasure. No mirrors now. Guess I'm going one of these ways. It is decided. It's been decided it's not that way, because that's a dead end. Oh, you're back. Stickman's back. Stickman should have brought some reinforcements. I was going to say, this is starting to get a little complicated. Thankfully, I was a dead end. Okay, back here. Took a wrong turn somewhere. Let's try this mirror. Wanted to test this out. That's why I saved there. Ah, you're not attacking me. I'm gonna go ahead and run while I got the chance. came from, right? Yeah, he was gaining on me. Okay, yeah, so I started from that one. Well, if anything, this video will uh, result in solid progress, just like the last one. Obtained a book of ease. Come on, stick man, you don't stand a chance, although you are doing much better than I figured you would. Jeez. P. 
P-O-S. Okay, one way to go. Given that's the case, I'm going to regenerate my health. Looks like on the back of the box there's one screenshot. Features an area I haven't been to yet, but it looks to be the top of this tower. Looks like the very top railings of it. Ah, there we go. There's that treasure chest. Oh! <laughs> Uh, I have a heal ring equipped, so of course I'm doing less in damage and taking more damage. So I'm done with the heal ring, I need to equip something else. At least I know how to get there. Oh jeez, that guy's faster than I am. Better go ahead and heal. Really wish this thing healed me quicker. That would be nice. Very nice. See, while I'm waiting, probably do a little bit more before I go to bed tonight. Uh, very least, get a last snack. What am I going to have for my last snack? Am I going to make some beef ramen? Or am I going to have some cereal? Some Malta meal honey bunches, honey bunchers. Kind of leaning towards beef ramen. I eat it in like a minute. It takes like five minutes to cook and cool. I mean, it's a quick meal. Mm. May not be the ah. I'm fully healing now. May not be the best thing to put in my belly right before going to bed, but you know I suppose about four bowls of honey bunchers isn't either. But I will get some deep. Lean towards ramen right now. I also got some. What are they? Smoked Gouda Triscuits at Target this weekend. Thinking those may go well with the ramen. All of a sudden, I just got back into ramen. I remember, you know, during high school or during college, you know, getting ramen, really liking pretty much every flavor of ramen. You know, again, like I said earlier, it takes like five minutes to cook. I just haven't eaten ramen in, I don't know, two years, three years, something like that. Probably since whenever we first moved out, or whenever I fir whenever we first moved in here, and since I've rediscovered it in this last month or so, last month, I have been enjoying it. Oh yeah, better ring, better ring. Maybe twice a week, three times a week, just because it's a quick snack, quick meal. Probably not great for you with all the sodium. Silver armor, awesome. That's going to make these ensuing sections a little easier. I'm not taking all this damage. But uh, then I also remembered, I used to eat it with like club crackers. I used to put club crackers in there. That was good. So I thought, I want to do that. So whenever I went to the Target this weekend just to get a few food items to last me through the weekend, a couple Greek yogurts, some lunch meat, stuff for, you know, kind of in-between dinners, in-between big meals. I thought, I'm going to get some club crackers or something to that effect. Well, I saw they had these smoked Gouda Triscuits on sale, so I'm getting those instead, actually. I love Gouda cheese. I love smoked Gouda cheese. I love any sort of smoked meat or cheese, pretty much. 
So that seemed like a win-win. And I can report the flavoring, the smoked Gouda flavoring on that stuff is off the charts. It is good. When the specific Trisket you eat has ample flavoring. The issue with these, the flavoring is not spread evenly. So every now and then I'll bite into a Trisket and I'll get one that has one side just coated with that smoked Gouda flavor and it is really good. But about half the time I'll bite into one that seems to have no flavor at all. It's basically just a wheat Trisket. So, they were cheap, they were on sale, but kind of mixed review. I don't know if I'd get them again, I'd probably try another flavor. Smoked Gouda one? No, Smoked Gouda one is great. Flavor's good when it's there. I'd try, I, I guess I wouldn't try another one because it's just going to be the same effect, but there's a different flavor. I'm just going to get half of the Triscuits that have great flavor, whatever it is, and half of the Triscuits are just basically wheat, just straight wheat. And they don't really, these ones don't go well with ramen, at least the beef ramen. I think my judgment was kind of clouded whenever I saw, ooh, cheap, ooh, smoked gouda, ooh, I'm gonna get those. Didn't really think of how that would pair with the beef ramen, so. Learning experience. Speaking of learning and experience, that's what dealing with these mirrors is. A lot of trial and error here. Oh, I do like that, though. Okay, he's still dealing a lot of damage to me, but they're dealing less. So I believe I need to take this left one. That right one looked like that was eventually just a reset back to the entrance. Ah, oh, sheesh. Gotta equip that heal ring. Oh, I damn it! I already have it equipped. I wonder these guys are giving me some issues. I'm not defeating them fast enough because the I have the power ring equipped, or I'm taking too much damage because I don't have the ring mail equipped. Uh, while I'm waiting, yeah, that's just a dead end. No. Yeah, that's just a dead end. Of course, now this stick man's probably up here again. No? Okay, so again, this is my linear path. This is my one option. equip the proper ring now. We'll do power ring. Let's save. Ah, that leads me back here. Maybe all I get out of these mirrors, navigating these mirrors, is just the silver armor. Go through them once more just to make sure. So here, I've got this right option, which I think quickly leads me back to that room I start from. Only option. Gotta be down here or back where I started from. Back where I spawned into this room. And so now that's gonna put me back here once more. 
We'll use this mirror. We'll use this first mirror. We'll use the left mirror. There's nothing down there, nothing down there, nothing up there, so we go through this one. And there's nothing down here, because that's this is where the stick figure was last time, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That leads me back here. So that's all the options for that first mirror. This first mirror didn't lead me anywhere, really. Second mirror. Got no options down here. Oh, I have one more option this way, don't I? Did I try it? No options there. Okay, now this was the this was a dead end going further left. Ah, oh, jeez. I think going back into a mirror, no matter which one it is, will always take you back to the first room. Uh, except for that one. No, it did. It just didn't put me right back in the center of the room. Okay, so nothing with that first mirror. Come on, don't hurt me. Don't do me like that. This Tom Petty one saying, one saying, don't do me like that. Got no options to the left. It's the only mirror I can enter. Again. This is the only mirror I can enter. I guess it doesn't matter if I heal. I think I know it's going to take me to the room with the treasure chest where I got my silver armor. Nothing I can do here. And I'm back in the center. So, that appears to be all I can do in this room. And of course this guy tells me about stuff. He talks forever, tells me about stuff. Oh, huh. let me walk behind these. Okay, so let's go back down. See what my options are. I gotta go up though, I gotta get that girl. But I did get the book of Luth I did get the book of Gemma, so maybe Luther Gemma will s translate that for me. Oh yeah, but I how am I gonna get through here? Hmm. I'm not, I think. That's the answer. to do this way. Better let... Hey, Jeeves. Better let Jeeves in here. He was clawing on the door. He wanted to see me. He wanted to see what was going on. Which... Getting close to bedtime. I don't think he's wanting to go to sleep, though. He's probably just wanting food. This guy lets you know when he's hungry. Whenever he needs food, you are not going anywhere. Oh, yeah, it looks like he's fixing to jump up on me. He must be needing some food. Nothing this way. This was just that boss fight. Boss fight and subsequent treasures. So I wonder if I need to use the Mask of Eyes 
in one of those seemingly empty or dead-end rooms through that mere maze. One thing I don't need is for you to jump up on my lap while I'm playing this game. Let alone jump up on the table. Just give it a little bit, mister. I'm going to be here another 10, 15 minutes. You'll get your last snack, I'll get mine. We'll both be happy and ready for bed. I'll doze off listening to the new bomb cast. Wake up ready for Tuesday. No, oh jeez, man. Groundhog Day scenario, if that was the case. Wake up ready for Wednesday, hump day, catch up day at work. I mean, get stuff done. Hey, I'm petting you, trying to keep you from jumping up here. I always do that. I'm so used to not um, used to not having that hammer. Used to only happen to go over one time to get the mask of eyes. I can still take you. Even though I can't see you. I'll go to the right one. That was the quick quick way out originally. back here, so nothing through. First mirror going right. What about first mirror going left? smelling the new stack of games I got. Haven't put those on the shelf yet. At this point I may as well make, wait for this weekend. Maybe I'll get something else cheap while if Jeff and I go out. Get a GameStop or something. This is a great time of the this is a great this is a great time to pick up games from last generation. The bargain bins at GameStop, games for five dollars or less, you can find some real classics, real great games, and just a lot of games in general. A lot of, if not great games, a lot of noteworthy games for one reason or another. A lot of genre games if you're a fan of a specific genre. So, this is the time I really love in those console generations. You know, we're what is it? Two, three years into the current generation, the PS4, Xbox One, and technically Wii U generation. All the stuff for the 360, PS3, and Wii, that stuff's... They're trying to get rid of as much of the old stuff as possible, as much of the stuff that they think won't sell. That's where most of my game acquisitions come right now come from right now. 
that stuff's cheap and I tend to not spend a lot of money even if I get a handful of games I usually rare, I rarely at this point exceed ten dollars spent I'm trying to stay away from the vintage stock buy two get one free sales whenever they have them the last one or two of them last handful of them just to kind of save up money and put that towards other things so not getting as many well I guess I can't say I'm not getting as many retro games as I normally do. If I find an old game complete in box for a cheap price, you know, for something like $10 or less, I'd probably snag it. Ugh. Barely made it. I'm probably not going to make it through here. Yeah, Jesus is still in here. He's now he's patiently waiting, just grooming himself. She may not have to wait any longer. I think once I exhaust this experiment, I'll probably call it quits for this video, and by proxy, call it quits for this game for the night. You know, maybe I gotta do something with the hammer. It's a recent acquisition that I haven't done anything with. Oh my gosh, what is that? Did I have the healing ring equipped? No, I didn't have the healing ring equipped. I just got my ass handed to me, that's all. Hmm. Just got unlucky is really what it was. Do I have the silver armor? Yeah, I got the silver armor. I was afraid for a second I didn't save after getting that. Uh, whew. I think I didn't take me right back to the starting room. Go, 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 go. A stick man in this room. Just want to go. Just want to go. That's it. That's all there is, man. I don't. I don't see anything new. Fifty-three minutes. That's a good time to call it quits. It's a good spot to call it quits too, I suppose. So that was episode ten of my Let's Play for Ease, The Vanished Omens on the Sega Master System. That'll do it for this Wednesday, August 16th, 2016 as well. I'm gonna get a last snack and hit the, hit the, hit the hay after this, hit the sack. Anyways, this was John from MyBrainOnGames.com. And check me out there. You can also check me out on Twitter at John Engelman, J-O-H-N-E-N-G-E-L-M-A-N. You can also check me out here on YouTube, but assuming you are watching this video and listening to me speak at this moment, you already know how to do so. So, thank you for watching this episode. Uh, I do hope you stick with this series for its conclusion, and check out some of the other videos I've done or other work I've done through MyBrainOnGames.com. With all that said, I do appreciate you watching this. Thank you, and goodbye.